Nice to see you here today. <laughs> nice to be here, Lily. <laughs> I, I love your background, your Zoom background. Thank, Thank you, you for putting moms of the world into your world. Yes, very close to my heart. I love that. Tell us, where are you sitting right now? Where do you live? And, and I'm how many in you in South Africa. And I have three kids, um, a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a baby. A baby. So three months old. <laughs> yes. That is incredible. How are you doing? How is life this year? It's been a very interesting year. I think being pregnant during a pandemic has not been a very, a very easy time, I think. It was very challenging. And having all my kids home has also been a little bit challenging. <laughs> and my husband into my workspace, which has not been easy. I've worked from home for a while now, and yeah. it's been my space. So yeah. to have everyone come in and steal my working spaces has been a bit of a challenge. But we've got through it. I've heard that. I've heard that from other moms where they've said suddenly... Their husbands are in their, like, in their space and they really wish they could be out of the space. <laughs> That's an adjustment. Well, it's a big adjustment. My husband is, was on like Teams calls and Zoom calls probably eight hours of the day. So it felt like I was in his meetings all the time, which got a little bit irritating, I would say. Yeah, so we ended up changing our bedroom into an our office into a schoolroom and our garage into an office as well as our dining room into another semi-office so you would sit wherever it was quiet so if you were in a meeting you would find a place where you could close the door and you could just have quiet and you would just swap between so it, it was a bit ridiculous that's crazy what about your kids do they need their own space to work or they have they been has your seven-year-old been on zoom i was very lucky our school she's in grade one so in the first grade they didn't do a full-on zoo all day so they only had a check-in twice a day when it was very short and then the rest of the stuff was up to mom and dad to get them through so it was on ipads and they would send all the work and in the beginning it was easy it was a few things and and i think once they realized that we were in this for the long haul they realized they had to get through the curriculum so the things that came through it was intense. It was like trying to work plus having to record things for her and find things and go into the garden and find leaves and find rocks and build things. And it, Did it drive and then, you crazy? Then, Milan was grade <laughs> three last year and they only had the beginning of the day and the end of the day and the middle was like me and I felt like I had to sit next to him and do school for him and figure out how to work like and, I, and it was hard. It was impossible. <laughs> some days <laughs> some days were, were extreme it was just like I couldn't I just couldn't wait to get to bed I was just like I'm sure I just get through everything and then get to bed because yeah it got it, you they want your attention full on and just because you're at home they think that you're there you're available. You're, you're work and you're not really available because it's the time that they would be at school can I um, ask you a candid question did you ever cry <laughs> For sure. Did you ever like lock yourself in the closet and scream? For sure, many times. And remember, I had pregnancy hormones on top of it. I would spend many a days very frustrating or lying oh. on our trampoline, just lying there, hoping that no one would find me. So oh. I could just have some peace and quiet. So You're a hero. So tell me, what was the lo like, lockdown for us? You, where in South Africa did you say you are? We're from, we're, we're in George, but we had a national lockdown. So. And so was, for us, they lost the last four months of the school year. Was it the same? No. So for us, our school year starts in January and ends in December. So when we went into lockdown in March, they'd only been at school for one term. So, and, and are, are at they, the end of yeah. one term, they then said, obviously the country went into lockdown. So they sent us on our little vacation early and then... Basically, then we just got letters and stuff of how they're going to start it in the new year on basically online. So we didn't lose much of a school year where the school my daughter's in, which is in a private school. They just clicked on to online learning, which they thought would only be for six weeks. And then yeah. it ended up being for forever. For it's March, still going. April, Are you... for... No, we're back at school. You're back at school. Yeah. So you're in the school. same school year and you've we're in the gone from school year. normal to like remote, no school, little school, at home school yeah. to back to semi-normal? 
Yeah. So no, we've gone from, for my child, we went from normal to lockdown to home to hybrid learning because I didn't send my daughter back to school because I was pregnant. Yeah. So her friends went back to school and she then stayed at home and we did hybrid learning. And now she's gone back to school to what I would call semi-normal. So masked up, shield on their face, social distancing. Yeah. But a full day every day? They've shortened the day by an hour. So it's half an hour later and pick up half an hour earlier. Wow. So it's not very long. So she's at school from eight to quarter to one. Okay. It's something, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's something. And my, other, and my three-year-old is still at home. We were going to put it in a school this year, but because COVID hit by the time we had gone and done enrolling and stuff, COVID hit. So she's just stayed at home. So she'll go to school next year. Wow. So the preschools still- open? Like I know here so they have to some degree. Our, our early childhood has opened, but it took a very long time. So they only opened up in, I think, September, or August, September. Wow. So it took a long time for preschools to open. They have a lot of like protocols that they've got to follow. So And, and then it's delivered partway through. Yeah. So I delivered in our peak actually here in George. Or, yeah. So we peaked in August and I delivered in that same week. That is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Did any, was anybody allowed in the hospital? Was your husband yes, allowed? We, my husband was allowed. So we were very lucky, obviously not my kids or grandparents or anything, but my husband was allowed in and he was allowed to return like every day, but only once. So he was only allowed to come in once and then leave and not allowed to come in again. Wow. So my hospital stay was extremely short. I, I just wanted to get them. So Do you have any babysitter help? Is there, is, is that happening right now? My parents live a, a kilometer away from me, uh-huh. so um, they pick up a lot of that. <laughs> They're in your bubble. <laughs> They're in my bubble. Yeah, we, we kept them in the bubble from the beginning. We did a very, we adhered to the strong lockdown here in South Africa of 21 days. So I didn't see my parents for 21 days, even though they live a kilometer from me. It killed my kids because they were used to seeing their grandparents at least four times a week. And yeah, so we, we stuck to the lockdown for 21 days and then we, yeah, we decided we just couldn't anymore. I needed the help and we were going crazy and yeah. So then we just, we included them in our bubble and that's where we stayed for until August. So no one else came into our bubble. We didn't see anyone else other than my parents and I didn't go to the shops. I went probably to the shops five times in the whole of lockdown. Wow. Uh, So yeah. It was, in, it was a little bit intense. I am so glad that you have your parents close by. Mine are yeah. not that far. We're in Toronto. My parents are in New Jersey, right near Manhattan. And I haven't seen them since the beginning of the year, and I miss them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's the thing with, with parents. I think that's what sucked the most. Is my dad had his birthday in lockdown. And I just stood at the gates and like, wait, it felt like we were in a different world. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to break any protocol. You couldn't hug, you couldn't do whatever. And then we just brought them into our bubble and, and it's been better since. I just have really the support glad. of someone else and having the support of your parents, having the support of just somebody and not being alone, I think is, is been a huge help. I am um, so glad I- that you have that. And I am so glad you're on our team for surviving the school year and moms of the world and everything. And I hope that when we run surviving the school year, parents will get a little bit of the relief that it sounds like having your parents close by has given you. Yeah, I hope so too. I really do that. The hope, the support that they get from the event would, would just be a little glimpse into what it's like to, to have support nearby. Even if it's just virtual, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you there virtually <laughs> <laughs> on November 21st. Awesome. Look forward to being there, Lily. Thanks so much, Jillian. Cheers. Bye-bye.